Let's check out some questions on mole slash stoichiometry from the three 2015 New York State Chemistry Regents exams. We're going to go through the first four questions here and then the second video on the next four. So let's take a look. Question one is asking you about a formula, XCl4, and what X could represent. Chlorine is a halogen. It's in group 17. Needs one more electron to be like a noble gas, so it likes to gain one, or when it's sharing electrons, have them close to itself. So notice, if this is minus one and I have four, that's a minus four. Compounds are electrically neutral, so I'm looking for X that would end up either sharing four electrons or giving away four electrons. When I look at my four choices, the first one being carbon, carbon here is in group 14 and has four valence electrons. So it's either going to give away four, take four, or want to share with another atom. And in this case, that's our answer. It's carbon. Now let's take a look at why it's not hydrogen. Hydrogen wants to either gain or lose one. That's not enough. Remember, chlorine, it's four chlorines for every one of the other atom. Then it's magnesium and zinc. Both of these want to give away two electrons. These are metals, they're not going to share, they're going to give away, and again, they're always going to give away two, and no more, or no less, so that's why the answer is choice one. If we move on to question two, C2H4, they're asking what kind of formula this is. Well, you need to know your definition for a molecular formula, empirical formula, structural formula, to answer the question. It is definitely a molecular formula, because it's not just the lowest whole number ratio, you have two different elements here, and you have a 2 to 4 ratio, so it's a molecular formula. It is not an empirical formula. Empirical formula is your lowest whole number ratio. I can divide by 2, so I would get CH2 for my empirical formula. And it's definitely not a structural formula, because structural formula is going to be the layout of the atoms in the molecule. So the only answer it could be for number 2 is 2. Let's move on to number three. It's asking about moles, and you're given moles. So what I have here is a mole-mole problem. It's just a ratio. I think the easiest way to do this, to write out the balance equation, put x above what you're solving for, and the number of moles that are given. So in this case, I have 4 Cl plus 3 O2 going to 2 Al2 O3. Now, we're looking for moles of aluminum. We are given two numbers here. We're given four and a half moles of oxygen and three moles of aluminum oxide. This is going to be the better number because we know definitely we want to form three moles. Four and a half moles of oxygen, maybe we have more that's given to us. So when you're given two numbers like this, always go with the one, the product that's going to answer the question. Well, you're given moles and you're looking for moles, you're just going to put the coefficient which is your ratio below. In other words, x over 4 is equal to 3 over 2. Just solve for x. Cross multiply 2x is equal to 12. Divide both sides by 2. x is equal to 6. So the answer here for number 3 is 6. Finally, for the last one, you're looking for the percent composition by mass of oxygen in calcium nitrate. For this one, let me just erase this. Percent composition, there is the formula on reference table T. You will find it there. So let me just show you where to find it. And here it is. Percent composition. So the part is going to be the oxygen. The whole is going to be the whole gram formula mass, which they give it to you, so they make it a little easier. So when I have calcium nitrate, percent that's oxygen is going to be oxygen well here's the tricky part you have three oxygens but you have nitrate twice so you need to distribute the two back there's actually six oxygen so don't add them don't forget about the two so I need six oxygens so it's going to be six times the gram formula mass for oxygen which is 16 you find that here on the periodic table if we look at oxygen, let me just get rid of this so you can see it. 
It's right here. I just rounded it to 16. And the whole thing, of course, is the gram formula mass, 164 on the bottom, times 100. You do the math here. Mul multiply, divide by 164, the multiply by 100, and you're going to get a percent of 59%. This is the first part of the questions. Check out the next video for the answers and explanation for questions 1. I'm sorry, this was 1 through 4 for 5 through 8. Keep working hard, and good luck.